What up you guys, it's Alex here and I'm gonna show you how to make some white noise hi-hats using operator. Um, so here's the sound I'm gonna show you. And here's it with some context. Just a little demo thing. Cool. Um, I'm not only gonna show you how to make those sounds, but you can also make shaker type sounds, like for instance, got really loud. You can do all sorts of variations on this. It's really easy. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. So what I'm going to do, um, I have my little kick and bass here. And I just drew in on this MIDI track, I drew in 16th notes. I changed the velocity a little bit, as you can see, just to keep a little nice bounce going. And then I added some 30 second notes at the end to give it a nice little roll. So what I'm going to do is add an operator and I'm going to change the wave from a sine to a white noise to white noise. And basically all you're going to do now to get that little hi-hat sound or that shaker sound is you're going to mess with this envelope. You're going to bring your sustain to zero and then just start messing with this decay value. So watch what happens as I do that. As you pull the decay down, you get that tighter sound. And then if you want to get more of a shaker type sound, you might increase the attack. Turn this down, it's way too loud. A little bit more. Yeah, and this is basically it. From here, you can just keep manipulating it a little bit more. If you want, you can try and make it as tiny as possible. Get kind of sinister sounding. You might add a little reverb or something. I have a send set up to reverb here. But yeah, that's more or less all you gotta do. And you just start molding that white noise to make whatever sound you want. Now, I really think it's important to, to know how to mess with white noise because it's kind of like a block, um, like a block in the sense that like you carve away at it and you can make whatever you want out of it. Um, and so basically it's really good if you need a hi-hat part like i just showed you or perhaps you had um like a normal sampled hi-hat that you just wanted to add a little a little more pizzazz to then you might just layer it with some white noise um you might also use this under some crashes if you want to make them more dramatic um there's all sorts of things you can do with white noise um i just think these hats and shakers are particularly easy um so go ahead and give that a try see if you dig it um there's a track called Vamp by Trent Muller where at one point I'm almost it base it it's probably a white noise hi-hat that's what I would put my money on and if it's not you can at least replicate like one of the sounds he makes with a white noise hi-hat it's pretty cool and um yeah I got this tip from a little book called this it's a cheesy little book but it's called The Secret of House Music Production and uh with this girl dancing on it and um yeah, there's actually some good stuff in there. So yeah, go ahead and give that a try. If this helped, please subscribe. Um, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. Adios.